Hi, Jill Langer, and I'll be talking about new guidelines for biopsying thyroid nodules. Before we get started, I just want to review a couple of concepts which seemingly are simple, yet when you think about them, are slightly more complex. First of all, what is a thyroid nodule? Secondly, how common are thyroid nodules in adults? And third, how common is thyroid cancer to give us a perspective? Now, one of the concepts that comes about quite frequently is exactly what do we mean when we, see, when we say we see a nodule. On ultrasound, a nodule is defined as an area of the thyroid with a different ecotexture than the surrounding parenchyma. And as it turns out, fortunately, most thyroid nodules are not tumors, but are just hyperplastic regions of the thyroid. And I'll demonstrate that to you in just a few minutes. And also, most thyroid nodules are now detected incidentally. That means the patient does not have symptoms, does not have a palpable abnormality on their neck, but is undergoing some sort of an imaging examination, ultrasound or another type, and in fact, we see a nodule. When we talk about how common thyroid nodules are, it very much matters how they are detected. As you can see with this chart here, which indicates prevalence of thyroid nodules on this side, and then the age of the patient along the bottom, if we use palpation or feeling a nodule on physical exam or the patient feeling a nodule themselves, you can see that the incidence increases with age. And if you take an, a 50 to 60 year old patient, approximately five to 10% of them would have a nodule felt on physical exam on the, on the thyroid.